Well, hello everyone and welcome to Physics Games. My name is Physics and today I'm going to start a new series where I show you some of the base designs that are in my head. And we also might do some, uh, you know, kind of not just hall bases, but renovations too. And today I'm going to start off with a little hall base idea I've had. And I want to know from you how we could make it better, what we could change, do you like it or not? I want to get the discussion going. So I've made a plinth that's 10 by 7, and on there I've got a row of 5 blocks. And I'm going to make a simple kind of stairway upwards, although I'm not going to use stairs. I kind of don't like stairs. Zombies go up them too quick. I really like using ladders. When you use ladders, they kind of slowly get up here. So I'm going to bung some ladders on here, and I'll show you what I mean. Basically... It's 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 harder for them to get up. You can't just leave it, I suppose, as a as a standard block. Oops, I missed one. We'll stick one in the middle. When they come up, they kind of walk up and then slowly and walk up and slowly walk up and slowly. We're gonna get them to go up one more, and now we're gonna get them to slide down. That's my my idea. So the way we do this is we take another block all the way down here, and then we're gonna be utilizing something in the shape menu. Hold down R get the shape menu up and we're going to type in wedge narrow and wedge narrow gives you these four at the top here wedge narrow high wedge narrow middle uh, narrow low and narrow tip we're going to go to wedge narrow low right now and we're going to take this and we're going to hold down our advanced rotation and we're going to rotate this into that position here and we're going to put a whole row of these down the bottom and we're going to put a whole row of these on the top here next we're going to go back in the shape menu and take the next larger one the wedge narrow middle and we can copy this rotation and we're going to place this here now this is going to give us the start of the slide for them to fall down and i put an extra lip here because i don't want them to fall too far or the rage will happen for lots of them so next i'm going to go back and we're going to go wedge narrow tip copy that rotation and place this here so that gives me the full slide and I will need to put some ladders on here too. So they go up and they go over and they fall down. But why would they do that? Well, that's because I am going to get them to chomp my brains out. Or at least attempt to. So I'm going to put two extra on there, like a, like a pair of wings. And then on here, I suppose you could keep just adding on top. But for aesthetics, I like to do this where I place one the other way round, just because it looks good. Then we're going to copy rotation and go back the opposite way. And then copy rotation again and go back the other way. And for the time, final time, copy rotation and stick one of these on top. One, two on either side and then back to standard blocks. Nope, nope. I'm going to go, whilst it's in my hand, I'm going to come around here. I want to see uh, some of these wedge tips on the side here. I've done a lot of testing. There's a lot of different variations you can do. And you can add more blocks here. But it, this is the best, as far as I'm concerned. You put three wedge tips here. And you get three wedge tips on the other side. One, two, three. And we do actually finish them off with... A wedge narrow tip corner. That is the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth one across. So we're going to bung that in just to finish that out. And it helps the zombies just locate themselves as they uh, fall down and want to get round again. They kind of uh, walk around here and they go, oh, I better walk around here and start all over again. So how are they going to do this? Well, that was it. I, I did just say we're going to get a full block back to normal. So delete all the words and get the cube. And we're going to place one, two cubes across there. Then we're going to get a ladder and we're going to place it on there. Because that's going to help us kind of jump up and out of the base at the end. And then with our frames, we're going to search for bars. And we're going to get a bar. And we're going to get a bar and we're going to place it just there. Then we're going to go back in the menu of shapes and take the bars corner. I'm going to do this down here because it's difficult to... Once I'm in advanced rotation, it's difficult to get this in the right way. There we go. Uh, we're going to place that on here. Then we're going to go again back to bars. And we're going to 
Oh, come on, physics. Advanced rotation. We're going to place that somehow nice and flat and place it there. So now we have the full base. So you can put ladders on the side. I will I will so wonderfully try to demonstrate this now. You can actually get up here if you kind of get yourself on the lip here and you jump up on over across. There you go. We're in position. This is it. This is the horde base. So let's have a quick look around again and have a look. What do you think? I don't know what to call it. It's kind of like a rotation the whole silly board base thing we want them to go up here slide on down they you often see them kneel as they land here and then they continue their pathing round you could make a bigger base at the bottom to give them so they don't get stuck on a lip or something that might be a good idea but for now we'll stick with this so if you have any cool ideas please as I say nip onto the discord leave a comment for sure leave me a like um, and, uh, you know, of course, I want to continue this, so please subscribe. We're going to go to day seven. We're going to go to 2159. I've set this on 64 zombies. Um, I've given myself 2 million XP, so I'm on game stage 64, level 48. And, uh, yeah, have I switched zombies on? I hope so. Yo, where are you? I'm out here somewhere. There they are. They're all coming. Hello. You want a little fight? You know, come and eat me. Eat my brains. So they kind of come up and they slide on down. And then they wonder what the hell is the meaning of life. And, oh, that guy's having a little punch. I think it's possibly a good idea to get rid of these outer ones. Let's try that. Maybe that's going to be a better uh, little kind of idea here. If I get rid of that and I get rid of that, they're going to preference to the middle um, stairway. That might be better. Oh, I think that's a bit better. Oh, they just jump. Does he rage? Does he rage when he jumps? No? No, he's fine. Maybe get rid of all of them. I don't know. But that's the whole point. What could you do with this? These are just ideas. That I'm not claiming that these are going to be the ultimate horde bases. Can you put a big cage around here? Could you put another building behind with, like, extra bits on it? I don't know. Could you paint it a funny colour? But you can see that they are rotating round, even on a large horde like this. You can hear a couple of hits here and there. Definitely better without those uh, those little things. If he hits that too much, I'm going down. But of course, who plays these Horde Knights and don't shoot zombies all the time? They also are more likely to hit when you're testing them and you don't do anything. So you need to keep shooting and making noise. And if you just want, you know, a true AFK base, well, of course, you can just look at my video. I'll put the card above. There is a proper super cheap um, AFK base, but this way, look at this, they keep going, and if anybody does annoy you on the edge, pop, 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 you just blow them up, and off they go, and they loop around, and around, and around, so hardly any anger, hardly any aggro, if they jump at you, they just fly past you, and this is what I call a neat little idea, well it is for me, because I don't have too many ideas, oh, right, you can go, so please tell me what you think of it all and uh, subscribe for loads loads more of these funky things my POI walkthroughs my tips and tricks and even a little jumpy guy who's coming in so I'll see you later have fun base building bye